The Scooby-Doo Club? Why did the Ghost Vanquishers just give us the number to a different club? I don't know, but I don't really think they were legit because they just gave us a fork. True. Like, that's not a ghost hunting tool. Fair. How, how do we get the lights back on? Forgot about that. Since when have we had a clapper? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Just go with it. How long do you think they'll be? I'm not sure, um, but I feel like there must be at least something we can do to try and appease the ghosts so they're here. There aren't any ghosts, Mia. They're not real. Um, decor. What? Yeah, decor. Like, we can decorate the apartment all spooky, and uh, I think the ghosts will feel more at home. That's the stupidest idea that you've ever had. Uh, ghosts aren't real. However... I am a for a g good montage, so t hit it. Wow, this uh, this place looks pretty god good. It, it didn't work, but at least it looks nice. So. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, that must be them. Um, to all the crew, I'm sorry that you guys are here longer than you signed up for, but uh, we'll be right back with the Scooby Doo Club apparently. Well, with us today, last minute, didn't even know it was happening, the Scooby-Doo Club. So welcome the Scooby-Doo Club. Come on out. Oh. oh welcome. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh. She's on the yeah, couch. Yeah. Full commitment, huh? Yeah, usually I don't want dogs on the couch, but, you know, he's an exception. <laughs> wow. Um, aren't there supposed to be five of you? Uh, yeah, for right now it's only, you know, Fred and Scoob, uh, me and Daphne, dynamic duo, uh, classic cartoon characters. Me and Daphne, we had a uh, bit of a falling out. I what don't, happened? Uh, you know, just don't even get me started on it, man. It's a big story, a lot of, lot of conflict there, but we are looking for a Velma and a Shaggy currently, so. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess first question, main question, what's, what's the point of the club? Like, do you guys solve mysteries around campus like you know we thought about starting it with that but a lot of the mysteries on campus usually get fielded to the IUPD so that's where your tuition money's going yeah so most of the time it's just role playing between me and you currently right yeah stuff like that he's really in character no no I, I make him stay in character <laughs> you make him I make him stay in character yeah we're, we're very tight on the club but you're not are you no I'm, I'm Fred oh you are Fred yeah I'm Fred that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Yep. That's right. So which version of Scooby Doo are you? Classic sixties or like the one with Buffy? You know, I, I, I'm a big fan of the sixties one, but I also like to think of myself as my own version. So when the third live action Scooby Doo comes out, Monsters Unleashed again, I'll get casted for it. I'm sure you'll be their first call. No, yeah, I think so. I think me and him are very committed to the role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm just kind of interested because, like, both of you could just be shaggy the way you look hair-wise. Um, yeah. hair wise. Why aren't either of you... Right. You're not blonde. You're not a dog. 
okay, well, the part of, you know, role playing is pretending, and I can pretend to be a hot, you know, Fred with blonde hair, chiseled chin. I can be whoever I want. And he has to be the dog, of course, but. So why, why does he have to be? Well, well because you, know, you can't have a Scooby-Doo club without Scooby-Doo. Did he choose this or did you? Yeah, who, who created the club? Oh, no, I created it. It's mine. So oh. when he came on board, did he volunteer for Scooby or were, did you? So we, did you? Right. You did. Right. Yeah, I kind of just found him on campus acting like this and I thought he was oh, a great fit. Oh, he was already like Yeah, no, I right. thought he was a great fit, yeah. Well, my favorite Scooby-Doo character is the Harlem Globetrotters. Is he potty trained? Um, I think we're, we're working on it. Okay. Well, I, get, I don't like that you're working on it. That feels problematic. No, it's it's work in progress. It's like getting, it's getting better. It's getting better. I we will be billing you. No, it's no, it not a worries. Not a worries, man. It's uh, we're on the up. Do you guys know the Ghost Vanquishers? Because they gave us your number. Yeah, uh, we're kind of a rival. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, field it to him. Really? Yeah. Not bad. Uh, I'm happy they gave us the call. They gave you the call at least. Um, but we're kind of at odds because there's only so many mysteries on campus to solve. So. And you guys are both trying to solve them. Yeah. So it, beca it can become a conflict. Uh, we've asked them to be shaggy, but they, they don't want to. All right, well, I mean, since you're here and you want to solve mysteries, and I'm too lazy to call our landlord, uh, we've been having some trouble with our lights, and uh, we were just curious if you guys, you know, could maybe take a look at that for us. Ghost ghouls related? Ghosts. <sighs> people, people certainly do think it's ghosts, but I think it's probably just faulty wiring. I think, I, I think it's probably ghosts. Ghosts? Okay, yeah, yeah, if it's ghosts, we can help you. Faulty wiring, no. Ghosts, right? Sure, let's say it's ghosts. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we can help. Cool. Yeah. Um, and just the two of you will be doing that investigation? Like, well, since we are the Scooby-Doo Club, <laughs> I do have a little uniform here for you. So if you want to be shaggy for the day, maybe help us out a bit. Here you go. Uh, on me. I don't really want... Well, it's the only way I'm helping. You got to do it. There's like nothing... Well... Really? Like, you don't... Okay. Could do a, uh, would you do it for a Scooby snack? Never would I do it for a Scooby snack. What about 20 bucks? I would obviously do it for Okay, yeah, okay, 20 bucks is fine. Yeah, that's fine. I've got my own. Don't worry. Oh, you just. I'm ready. Always. You never know when you gotta be a Velma, I guess. Yep. Wow. Have you heard of the club? No. Oh, no. Okay. I'm just prepared to be Velma at all times. Oh, wow. Wow. I get typecast a lot. Right. So. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be right back with our investigation, where we'll be the Scooby-Doo Club. So see you then. All right, gang, let's split up. Velma and I can go to the kitchen. Shag and Scoop, you stay in here. Uh, actually, sorry, uh, we don't have cameras anywhere else, so we have to stay in here? Okay, well, we can still split up. Uh, girls with me in this corner, everyone else in that corner. Uh, Fred, that's, that's kind of sexist. I thought we progressed past that. Well, it was the 60s back then, so that's how we gotta act. So remember, stay in character. Right, right, in character. Okay. Right, let's split up. Wow, you guys are aggressive. Right, Maggie. Just following you, Scoob. Rush, rush. Uh, uh, Zoinks, I, I guess. That is just, uh, that's our lamp. Scoop, you deserve a Scooby snack. Uh, are you feeding him dog treats? Only when he's a good boy. <laughs> uh, guys, look at this. I think it's a clue. Well, no, actually, I'm sure it's a clue. It's Andrew's ID, and we've never invited him over here before, so. I think you meant to say jinkies. <laughs> yeah, like, shut up, Velma. What the f, Sebastian? Oh, um, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Whatever. What'd you guys find? Yeah, I do wonder what this could be. It's Almost as if someone didn't want us to see it. It's our lamp. Gang, I think we got a mystery on our hands. Yeah, no s***. <laughs> or a 
guy in a sheet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a guy in a sheet. You may have a good point there, Shag. What, am I invisible? Like. Alright gang, let's see who this monster really is. Gang. Out of the way. Let's find out who this monster really is. Old, Old Man, Man Briggs? Briggs? That's Andrew Briggs, the executive producer of IUS TV to you. See, I knew it was Andrew from the moment that I... Well, we found your ID and the lamp you so clumsily knocked over in an attempt to sabotage our show. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Uh, you're only a year old. That's why I had to shut you guys down. You kept on swearing. The content guidelines! The content guidelines! I'm confused why it matters, because you did fire us and cancel our show. Yeah, well, I have nothing left. IOS TV lost all its viewers, so uh, that's actually why I'm here. Uh, I need you back. Wait, uh, sorry. Just moves. Um, are you... <laughs> are you by chance saying that I am... <laughs> Getting that promotion? Oh, definitely not. Hmm. But I will reinstate you with your old position. You know what this means, gang? Gang? We're back at IUS TV! So, am I still co host? Shh, don't ruin this moment. Why was this episode so sexy? Scooby Dooby Doo! You good? <laughs> <laughs>